you guys and welcome here to my channel and to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Laura. I share all kinds of lifestyle, motherhood, and homemaking videos here on my channel. You'll also hear me talk about my artwork. I have an art business where I sell art prints. I've just come out with some new products. I will leave the link to that in the description box if you want to check it out for yourself. Well, the time has come. I need to do a major closet overhaul. So that is what we are doing today. I'm going to go through all of my clothing. We're going to get rid of as much as possible. I'm aiming for like 75% of my clothes. I'm not joking. I'm right now six months postpartum with my first baby. And so there's just a lot of clothes that with me being at home now, most of the time I'm just not wearing, I'm not reaching for. Also being postpartum, there's just a lot of things that don't fit. One of my goals for this year is also to simplify my wardrobe. So that is something that I am thinking about as I'm going to be going through my clothes. I really want to take more of a minimal mindset when it comes to my clothing. And one way that I plan to do that is by investing in quality pieces, clothing that I know that I will wear that will last a long time and will help to make my closet simple, organized, cohesive, and filled with things that I actually enjoy, I, I like, and I want to wear. So that is the vision for today. I'm going to set myself a one hour timer. While my baby is sleeping, I'm going to get through as much as I can, and I'm really glad you are here to join me. So if you need some decluttering motivation, I hope that this video will be that for you. Maybe you just have some housework to work on while you are watching or listening to this video, or maybe you want to just cozy on up with a warm drink. Either way, I hope you enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do, and also let me know in the comments what you think of this video. That really helps me when I'm planning videos for you guys. With all that being said, let's get started. I'm gonna go grab all of my clothes. We're gonna go through it all. <sighs> I'm really pumped. <laughs> let's do this. So I think my best course of action is to make piles. So I'm gonna make a maternity pile of maternity clothes to be put away a donation pile, and then a pile of things that I am keeping. First, let's go through all of my dresses. This dress is from Old Navy. I did wear this a lot in the fall before I got pregnant, so I will hang on to that. It does still fit. This dress is actually an Amazon find, and I really like this one. So I'm going to hang on to it. It doesn't fit right now, but I'm gonna hold on just in case maybe by the springtime it will fit. I'm gonna keep that one. This one is a little bit fancier. It's the only black dress that I have, so I will keep it. I lied, this is a black dress, but I find that this one is very cheap. I got it from Petal Lush and it's kind of an awkward length. I don't find it very flattering, so I'm going to donate that one. This skirt is super, super cute. It's from Ruli. I've had it for years. I never really worn it and it definitely doesn't fit now. So I will donate it. It's really, really cute though. <sighs> but I just know I'm never going to wear it even though it's cute. So I'm going to let this one go. I'm seeing a denim skirt pattern. This one never really fit. I'm going to let it go. And then these two dresses I do like and I do wear. I think I'll wear them more in the springtime. So I will keep those. Oh, we don't even have a keep pile. Okay, starting a keep pile. I did find another black dress. This one is long sleeve, which is really nice. I don't have many fall long sleeve dresses. So this one I'm going to keep because it's nice to wear with tights. You can kind of wear it for fall or winter. This summer dress is pretty. I love the color of this one. I've only worn it once. I think I wore it to a wedding. Realistically, I don't think I will wear this. Just with my stage of life, I just think it's not really my style anymore. Ooh. I might hold on to it. I'm gonna make a maybe pile. I'm not a huge fan of red. I don't think it's a great color on me. So I'm gonna let this one go. 
This dress is very sentimental to me because I wore it to my bridal shower before getting married. I love the eyelet detail on it. I don't know if it fits me right now, but I'm going to hold on to it because I might wear it in the spring. This one I've had for a long time. I think I'm going to let this one go. It's not really my style anymore. This dress I've had, I think, since high school. I've had it for so long. I've probably only worn it a couple of times and it's pretty form-fitting which I don't really care for. This dress I have worn quite a bit. It's more of a fall dress and again it's long sleeve. I don't have many long sleeve ones keeping it. This is another skirt from Ruli. I love the rust color of this one. I haven't worn it recently. I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. This dress I believe is from Time Maternity. I didn't really wear it that much when I was pregnant. It's pretty low cut. I always meant to sew it up a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna hold on to it. I'll put it in the maternity pile. This is one of those pieces that just makes me a little disappointed because it's brand new. I've never worn it. I ordered it online, super cute, but it is see-through. Like the whole thing is just see-through. Oh, I love the pattern on it though. It's this really nice floral. All right, we're back. <laughs> My battery died and then Danny woke up. I had lunch, I cleaned. A lot has happened since I was filming earlier, but we're gonna keep going. We've definitely surpassed our hour, but that's okay. I have some time left in the day. We're gonna finish, get through this pile. I was just sharing about this jumpsuit, this floral jumpsuit. I'm going to see if I have a friend that wants this. All right, let's move on to tops. I have a lot of tops that just aren't my style anymore, such as this. I have things from Reitman's and Maurice's. I just don't reach for this anymore, so I'm going to donate that one. I used to be into bright and bold colors, like this blue sweater. This was one of my favorites. I never reach for it anymore. I've had it for so long as well as dark pink isn't my color anymore. Same thing with sparkles. I don't think sparkles were ever actually my thing. <laughs> Donate. I have some long sleeve shirts. This one has a lot of stains. This is kind of the same, it's a different color. A couple of these long sleeve shirts I used to wear a lot, but this past uh, fall and winter I didn't reach for. I have so many sweaters and sweatshirts that are this color, um, like the one I'm wearing. I don't need this one. Donate. This is a Roots like sweatshirt dress. There are some weird stains and also a lot of pilling on it, so I'm gonna let go of this. This shirt never fit me. I'm pretty sure it's actually a crop top. I love the knit material, but I haven't worn it. It's way too small. Okay, and then a lot of these shirts are cute, but they're just too small. I don't wear them, so I'm gonna say goodbye to that. As well as this one, again, really cute. I don't wear it though. Saying goodbye, donate. I love the color of this cardigan and I actually love the dot sleeves, but I don't wear it. It's too short, so I'm gonna donate that. This sweater is just kind of a weird fit. It's more boxy, it's not very flattering. And same thing with this one, it sits at like an awkward length. And also I'm not crazy about the turtleneck. This shirt I'm going to donate. I have so many t-shirts and I just don't need that many t-shirts, but I do like this one says, hey sunshine, I think I will keep it. This is one of my favorite graphic tees. It's Roots, it's like a farmer's market shirt. It has seen better days, so I mostly just wear it around the house, but it's so comfortable, and you definitely need those really comfy t-shirts, so I'm gonna keep this one. This sweater Silas actually got me is so big and cozy, so I will definitely be keeping this one. Like I said, I just have a thing for pink sweatshirts and sweaters. This one Silas also got me when he went on a trip. I'm gonna keep this one. I really like the color of this one, but I don't reach for it. So I'm going to pass it along. It's also looking a little bit ratty. I do really like this shirt. This one is from Maurice's. 
and it has little, almost like little bell sleeves that I really like. I'm gonna hang on to this one. This shirt I'm not sure about. I did wear it a lot in the fall when I was pregnant because I had a little bump, so it worked with that little bump. I haven't really worn it recently, but I'm gonna hold on to it. This cardigan I got to wear over a dress, which I don't think I ever did. And I don't even know if I've ever worn this, but it's really cute. I really like the knit material. So I think I am gonna put this in the maybe pile. Another shirt I'm going to let go of. I really do like this tank top. I like the knit material and also the color I think is fun. I'm gonna keep that one. I actually have it in a green too, which I like even more. I think it's really cute. So I'm gonna hold on to those. This is another dress I found that is brand new. I think I've had it for maybe three years now. I've never worn it. The tag is still on it. I think I'm going to see if a friend wants this one. Again, I feel bad getting rid of clothing that I've never worn, but the reality is I haven't worn it. I'm not going to, so I might as well give it to somebody who will. This skirt is fun, but I never really wore it much. And also I feel like it is sort of an awkward length. It's not the most flattering on me. Donate this one. This shirt had like a weird seam on it. The shoulders are like uneven and it's a little bit small. This is my only black cardigan. I don't reach for it very often. I think because it is three quarter sleeve, but I'm gonna keep it because it's my only black one. This top is one of my favorites. I think it's from, I forget the name of the store, but I'll see if I can link it down below. I really like this top, but I find the quality of that shop in general is not the best, but this top I really like and wear often. So definitely keeping this one. This shirt again is just that style that I don't really go for anymore. So I'm going to donate that. This is really the only long sleeve shirt that I reach for. It's from Old Navy and I got it when I was freshly postpartum. I love that it is super long. I believe I got it in, yeah, it's oversized and I got it in tall. So it's really long. I wear it with leggings, definitely keeping that one. It's just a good like everyday shirt. This top is another one of my favorites. It's from Ruli. I've had it for probably five years. Definitely a staple in my wardrobe and one of those pieces that I wear I get lots of compliments on it and I really really enjoy it. So I will definitely keep that one This is one of my more recent purchases. This sweater is new flora, which I'm really excited to be getting more of their pieces this year I love the quality and the style and versatility of their clothing pieces so definitely keeping this one. It is a little bit big, still works, but I do wish I had gotten the size down in this sweater. This is one of my favorite cardigans and I actually looked for it this season in a different color, but I couldn't find it. I've had this for like five years. I love this color. It goes with so much. Definitely keeping this one. This cardigan, I think I'm going to let go of. It's just not very flattering. And also this one, I think it just sits kind of strange at the hip. I do love the sleeve detail, but I find I don't wear it because I don't love how it fits. I have been keeping my eye out on New Flora's website though for like a cream cardigan to replace it with. So I think I'll hold on to it until I find another option to replace. This long skirt is really cute, but I just didn't wear it. The only time I've really worn this was actually when I was pregnant. I wore it like over my bump. So I think I'm gonna put this in my maternity box. It's not maternity, but I think it will work better for that. I found another dress that I don't really wear. It's this lavender color. It's kind of gapy in this area, so I'm going to donate it. This skirt I never really wore. I'm going to donate this. I feel like it's just been sitting in my closet for so long, serving no purpose, just taking up space. This blazer type shirt is really cute, but I don't wear it. Too small. This is a maternity tank top. I'm going to hold on to that one. I feel like I have a lot of maternity pieces because they're really hard to find. 
So I have some pants I'm going to keep. I think this is all, all maternity and like hospital gowns and things that I wore. So I'm gonna keep all of this. I'm just gonna go put it in the maternity pile. Oh, I found another dress actually. This is a maxi dress. I've had this for so long. I have found that this neckline that's like kind of a higher neckline is not flattering on me. I haven't worn this in years, so I'm definitely going to donate it. I do still wear this shirt. I love the ribbed material and like the peplum style. Some more long sleeve shirts that I don't wear. I didn't wear this fall season. This sweater is a good staple, just a basic cream sweater. I will be keeping that one. These are more like dress pants that I never wear. Athletic shorts I will keep. This gray cardigan I find I never reached for. I don't really have anything that matches it. So many t-shirts. I think I will keep that t-shirt. Okay, we're making progress for sure. This is another shirt that has kind of a higher neckline. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. This one I really like. I'm going to keep that. And this shirt I find I also don't reach for. Too small. These are root sweatpants. I think it's time for a new pair. I've had these for so, so long. So I'm gonna donate these. They've definitely served their purpose. A few tops that I plan to keep. I really like the design on this one. And also this one, I think the details are really, really pretty and I love the flutter sleeves. Flutter sleeves are something that I am into right now. I really enjoy that. I have a couple of tops like this one that I think I'm actually gonna put in my maternity basket because they're really good for nursing. So I'm gonna put those in there. This one's also maternity. I already have a black and white tank that I put in my keep pile. So I will donate this one. Another pink sweater, you guys, I think I have a problem. This one is actually too small, so I will donate it. Maternity, donate. I have two pairs of jeans that I've been wearing since I had Danny, and it's working great. I have this blue pair, definitely keeping those. And then I also have a black pair. I find that's all that I need. They go with everything. I have thought it would be nice to have like kind of a medium wash denim. I have the light wash, black, maybe something kind of in the middle would be nice. But I feel like two pairs of jeans is all that I really need. Oh, forgot this shirt. This one is too small. I'm going to donate it. I'm really not into the boxy fit sweaters. This one is really boxy. It's just not flattering. These are some loungewear pants that I will keep. I really love the waffle knit and also the color of these. It has a top that matches as well. These white jeans are actually another pair of jeans that I have, but I only wear them in the spring and summer. I will keep those. And then I have a lot of jeans that are just too small. They don't fit whatsoever. So I'm going to donate them and just free up the space. These jeans I've had since high school. It is definitely time to let them go. And this vest I never wore in the fall. It's a little bit small. This is another top too that is brand new, still has the tag on, but it is very see-through. Again, ordered it online. So I'm gonna toss this one, donate. This is another one from New Flora that I got recently. It is 100% cotton and I love the texture of the fabric as well as the color I really like. So definitely keeping this. Another just comfy sweater I will keep. And then this sweatshirt is exactly like the one I am wearing. If you are expecting a baby and you are looking for like postpartum clothes, these ones are awesome because they're super long. I actually ordered them in a tall so I can wear with leggings. They're really, really comfy and really great for that post baby season. All right, you guys, this is what we are left with for our donation pile. I just added all of those jeans that I went through. I feel like this is like 70 to 80% of all of my clothes, not including my maternity things. This is dresses, shirts, pants, all in this pile. I'm going to put them into trash bags to donate or give to friends. 
Then just over here, I have all of my maternity clothes that I'm gonna put away in a bin for storage. And then this is the pile of things to keep. And then stuff I'm gonna go through again to see if I want to keep it or get rid of it. All right, so step one of this project is done, but now we have to put it all away. Thank you so much for being here, for clicking on this video. I hope it was encouraging and motivating for you. Don't forget to like it and also subscribe if you did enjoy so you can see more videos like this one. Until next time, I hope you are doing well and having a wonderful start to the new year. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.